Hi, I'm Andy Nelson, a captain at Spirit Airlines and an ALPA pilot. I presently serve on the National Leadership Committee and was the Vice Chairman of the Spirit Master Executive Council in our last round of bargaining. Thank goodness the company can't make changes to our contract on its own. Spirit, like your company, complained about outsiders, meaning of course our union, interfering with its relationship with its pilots. There was a reason they didn't want outside interference. Why? Because when push came to shove, the company sought to impose millions of dollars of concessions on us, and they would have done it if we didn't have ALPA helping us fight back. In our last round of bargaining, Spirit, the leader in profitability, didn't get its onerous concessions, and we were able to build on one of the best packages of work rules in the industry while negotiating pay that is close to the carriers far larger than we are. Since then, the company has grown, and we have benefited from the growth. On the other hand, we have had to defend ourselves on numerous occasions when they tried to circumvent the contract, and with ALPA's help, we have been very successful in enforcing our agreement. My service on the National Leadership Committee brings me to Washington, D.C. this week as we train our newest group of elected pilot leaders. The entire week is spent exposing the pilots to the resources available to them, our presence on Capitol Hill, and giving them the tools they need to lead their individual pilot groups and our union. Ours is a member-run, staff-supported union. As a Spirit Pilot, I led Spirit Pilots. We made our own decisions concerning our future, supported by our staff in D.C. That support comes in many forms, legal, representation, economic and financial analysis, communications, government affairs, and safety. Back home, Spirit's growth and day-to-day -day operations are monitored by committees of Spirit Pilots, monitoring scheduling and safety. Those committees simply wouldn't be effective without the help of our ALPA professionals. We are ALPA, ALPA is us. I have read where your company has warned you against outsourcing your representation. My advice is don't outsource your representation to the company. Make sure you have your own voice, one that is accountable by law only to the pilots. That is why we have ALPA.